Today, we shall learn about one of the most important pharmacovigilance documents, that is, the pharmacovigilance system master file. The primary objective is to get introduced to this important conceptual document. Why is PSMF required, or, what is the need for PSMF? PSMF may be required for new registrations, in some countries. In some countries, PSMF may be required during the product license renewals. Most importantly, a PSMF may be required during a regulatory inspection, or may be requested any time by the regulatory authorities. The term PSMF originated in the European Union, and there is a separate module for PSMF, that is the GVP Module 2, that became effective in July 2012. In the past there was a process for maintaining a detailed description of pharmacovigilance system, or DDPS, in the European Union. This has gradually evolved into a PSMF. In today's time, a DDPS is only required for veterinary products. The SPS or the Summary of Pharmacovigilance Systems, is a concise document, that may be required to be submitted. The PSMF is generally maintained for human products. The countries that mandate PSMF, also necessitate the requirement for a responsible person for pharmacovigilance, or a QPPV. Following the European Union, many countries or regions have started requesting for PSMF, that is specific to their region. A PSMF may be known by different names such as PVMF or the PSSF. The PSMF is at the core of the pharmacovigilance system, with information pertaining to all domains of pharmacovigilance. The PSMF contains structured data pertaining to the pharmacovigilance system, which provides proper overview to the regulatory agencies. What are the components or sections of a PSMF? A PSMF consists of 10 sections. First is the main body of the PSMF, which is the heart of a PSMF. The main body includes a summary of the pharmacovigilance system. Annex A provides information on the QPPV. Annex B pertains to the organizational structure of the marketing authorization holder, and the people responsible for the pharmacovigilance system, including the vendors, business partners or distributors. Annex C pertains to the sources of safety data. Annex D pertains to the information on computerized systems and databases. Annex E pertains to pharmacovigilance processes, that includes SOPs and working practices. Annex F pertains to the performance indicators, that provide information on the compliance status. Annex G pertains to the quality management system, including audits and inspections. Annex H pertains to the list of authorized products. Annex I or the logbook contains the revision history of all versions of the PSMF. The PSMF should be located in the region, example EU or EEA, or the country for which the PSMF has been prepared. Where the pharmacovigilance system master file is kept in electronic form, it is sufficient that the data stored in electronic form is directly available at the site where the pharmacovigilance system master file is kept. The marketing authorization holder needs to ensure that the qualified person for pharmacovigilance has permanent access to the pharmacovigilance system master file. Summary of Pharmacovigilance System. This is a two to three page summary of the PSMF, specifying the location, details of the QPPV, and declaration by the marketing authorization holder. It may be essential to register the PSMF in the countries that mandate a PSMF requirement. This can be undertaken by submitting the SPS document or the entire PSMF. Every marketing authorization holder needs to maintain a formal process for maintaining the PSMF, which may be by means of having change control procedures. 
The PSMF needs to be up to date at all times, and there needs to be a process for periodic review and update of PSMF. During regulatory inspections, it may be necessary to submit the PSMF, as early as 7 or 14 days from the date of request. In the recent times, many companies are evaluating PSMF automation, by integrating various data sources such as the safety data, quality management system, human resources management system, and the business data, that may be available in systems such as SAP or ERP. What did we learn today? The PSMF is an important document. It may be a regulatory requirement in some countries, to maintain a PSMF. A PSMF has a main body, and nine annexes. We need to include relevant details in a PSMF. Every marketing authorization holder needs to have a formal process for review and update of PSMF. We trust you found this useful. Feel free to contact us, in case there are any questions, comments, or even suggestions. Also, we request you to subscribe to our channels.